Renault recently chose the beautiful surroundings of Pettenberg Bay on the garden route for the launch of a series of new cars, chief among them a special edition of the Megane RS. Formula One is an exclusive gig. If you want to own a team, you need a lot of money. If you want to go to a race, you need a lot of money. And if you want to be a driver, it doesn't always help that you have the best talent in the world. Sometimes you need a lot of money. But Renault, one of the sport's main engine suppliers, wants you to have a slice of the Grand Prix life at a fraction of the cost. So for about the same money as you'd pay for a Formula One steering wheel, you could have an entire car. And not just any car, one that taps into the company's expansive F1 history. They've been at it for 35 years now, won 10 constructors titles and along the way learned a thing or two about putting real driving fun into their road cars. The Megane RS is offered in Sport and Cup versions and this is the new limited edition Renault Megane RS Trophy 265 to give it its full title. It's 10 grand more than the Cup and that, for starters, buys you a few different bits and pieces on the outside. The Megane Coupe has always been a spectacular looking car and the RS versions add just a little bit of aggression. This trophy version chooses to highlight a few elements rather than changing them entirely. So there's a different lip spoiler at the back, there are big 19 inch black wheels and of course being a Renault performance model there are decals. Small changes, maybe, but they do a good job of highlighting the attitude that all Renault RS cars have, as well as differentiating it from the regular herd. The RS isn't exactly a subtle looking thing. Its lines are easy on the eye, but with black accents, a central exhaust outlet and the obligatory LED daytime running lights, it has a real aggression about it. But fear not, the 10,000 Rand premium you pay for the trophy isn't just about the looks. All the changes that matter, really, are here. It's still a 2 litre twin scroll turbo, but power has been up from 184 to 195 kilowatts. Torque is now 360 newton meters. All that means a 0 to 100 time of 6 seconds dead and a top speed of 254. And if none of those stats impress your mates, you can always talk about the Nürburgring. Yep, that settler of all arguments automotive can be brought up when people start mentioning Ford Focus RSs and special edition Golf GTIs. This Megan holds the unbeaten lap record for a front wheel drive car, 8 minutes and 7 seconds. We've been fans of the Megan RS since it came out a while back, with both sport and cup versions offering a great package, the highlight of which was real performance and an enjoyable drive. Usually power upgrades are a good thing, but I must be honest, I had my reservations. The thing is, the regular RS, if you can call it regular, is such a well-sorted machine that I was worried that the extra power in this car would throw it off a bit, make it feel a bit fuzzy around the edges, but it hasn't. It's still so well-balanced and there's such immense grip from the specially designed Bridgestone tyres and the limited slip diff. It is stupendous, this car. Not just because it's made a great package even better, but because it's relatively easy to get so much out of it. You don't need a racetrack, just a few quick corners on an empty road will bring a grin to your face. That's assuming the grip and acceleration of the line didn't already do that. As an everyday machine, it's got a fantastically flexible engine, but the ride setup is a little on the hard side. The steering is nice and accurate, it's got great feel, but the low profile tires and those big wheels can get a little bit noisy. This trophy version is a very delicate balancing act. But that's only if you look at it from the point of view of driving one to the office and back. As a hot hatch, as a car that delivers real performance without trying to kill you while doing it, and as something that will make you happy every time you're faced with a bit of open road, it's brilliant. Like the exterior, the interior makes do with a few tweaks rather than complete changes. So there's now lots of shiny black plastic and carbon fiber look leather. Oh, and the seats have got a different color stitching. Of the non-standard Megane items, there is the RS monitor, which basically generates a whole lot of data and figures that you probably shouldn't be concentrating on while you're generating data and figures that are worth reading. 
the yellow seat belts are also part of the package. The interior of any Megan is a collection of simple design, decent spec and good materials. It's one of the better cabins on the market, simply because it doesn't skimp on technology and isn't cluttered or difficult to use. The Megan RS Trophy is available as a limited edition, but the good news is the 195 kilowatt motor will be made available in the RS Sport and the RS Cup versions as well in the near future. So that then begs the question, is the 10,000 Rand premium you pay for this car over the RS Cup really worth a few different styling bits and some bragging rights? For some, it might be, but for us, it really almost makes no difference because whichever you choose, you will be driving the king of hot hatches. With even more power than before and a chassis tweak for further grip and control, the RS Trophy becomes Renault's hottest Megane and also the hottest hatch around. As performance hatchbacks go, it ticks all the boxes, but if you can't afford the limited edition trophy, the normal cup version will soon offer most of the tweaks that matter. 